today's video, we're going to be talking about nine hot remote jobs that you can land without a degree. And this is going to be without a doubt, the best video on the subject that is available on the internet. And it's something where if you really pay attention to this, you can land a job and change your life within three months, just like many other people have done who are in your position right now on this channel. There's interviews of people on my channel that have gotten jobs in 10 days. The one that seemed the most appealing to me was the one uh, that was $26 an hour. So I decided to go with that one. And that was 10 days after I enrolled in course careers. And there's even a 16 year old who is able to get a job using the methods I'm going to talk about. At the end of December 2021, I was I turned 16, but yeah, when I started the course, I was 15 years old. And in this video, I'm gonna give you a bunch of good options for really good remote jobs and work from home jobs. And it's going to be 100% backed by the best data available on the internet, as well as my own experience landing remote work myself and helping many other people do it too. Because just a few years back, I was in a position where I was working 12, 13, even 15 hours a day in a medical job that I felt stuck in. Because of this, I was incredibly stressed and depressed. And this was after doing everything right. I went to college, I got a doctorate, and I landed an amazing six-figure job. Basically everything that all the experts tell you to do. And I ended up in an endless cycle of eat, sleep, work, repeat. And I felt like I'd never be able to escape. But then I finally decided to change things and I ended up landing a remote role. And for the first time ever, I was able to travel to Puerto Rico with my best friend, John, all while I was still working. And I met a bunch of other people that were also working remote and I had an amazing time and my life was never the same again. And I knew I could never go back to working a normal nine to five job. And I want you to be able to experience the same exact thing. So if you appreciate this type of content, go ahead and cheers the like button. No. And let's jump into it with number one on the list, which is going to be a pet insurance sales agent. Yes, pet insurance is a thing. And actually a lot of people, especially in the United States, use it. But funny enough, it didn't originate in the United States. It originated in Sweden back in 1890. And at that time, it was just horses and livestock. But in 1924, the first dog received insurance coverage as well. Now, insurance agents in general make about 61 to $112,000 a year. And a veterinary pet insurance agent makes about 55 k per year. So it's not as good as a typical insurance agent. However, it's a lot less competitive and saturated. So yeah, this one's pretty good. I'll go ahead and give it a 7 out of 10 opportunity score because as good as it is, there's going to be a lot better ones on the list. For instance, affiliate coordinator. And this is where you wrangle affiliates juggle board training, and manage social media like a pro. And basically what you do is you manage the relationships, ensure compliance, and support communications with affiliates. And affiliates are basically people who market and sell your products for you, and they get a percentage of it in return. And affiliate coordinators make forty-nine dollars to $78,000 a year. And there is room for career progression and growth. For instance, coordinator managers make about sixty-nine dollars to $123,000 a year. So the whole affiliate ecosystem and affiliate community is incredibly common. It's basically every everywhere on the internet now. There's entire websites that are basically affiliate websites. Many YouTube channels make the majority of their income off of affiliate sales. And it's just a really good opportunity overall for even individuals who like a product to make a little bit extra recommending the product to their friends. And affiliate marketing is a type of digital marketing, which is one of the best careers that you can possibly get into. And I've interviewed a bunch of people on this channel that my business partner and I have helped get into digital marketing. For instance, Ariel successfully transitioned from working in retail in Victoria's Secret to digital marketing. And and it took me one month to finish the whole course. The job that I'm currently at now was actually the job that I thought I had no shot at getting. And I just applied because it said entry level. Literally the next day, I got my first um, acceptance letter. And if you'd like some free training that'll tell you exactly what digital marketing is, the different careers within digital marketing and how to get into it, go ahead and check out the link in the description and the pinned comment below. But yeah, affiliate coordinator is really good. I'll give this one a nine out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be an account coordinator. And this is like being the bridge between chaos and order. We'll put down our weaponry on the count of three. Okay ensuring everything runs smoothly while keeping everyone happy. This is basically an entry level public relations job, making sure that marketing material is going to be suitable for the company's brand. And account coordinators make about 47 to $66,000 a year. So this is a vital role in making sure that a company's brand is very strong and respected. Because as much as companies wanna make money, you don't wanna sell out, you want to maintain a good brand. And there is a really good career progression here. So senior account coordinators, for instance, make about 61 to $94,000 a year. So you can make more money down the line. 
online. And speaking of building a brand or a personal brand, I get so many questions about how to grow on YouTube, how I built my personal brand. I get emails about it all the time. And I actually do have some free training in exactly how I grew my YouTube channel. You can check that out in the description in the pinned comment below. And I'm doing a live training Tuesday, 9 p.m. Eastern time, which you can also check out by clicking the link in the description and the pinned comment below. So if you've ever been curious about exactly how to do that, that's what I'll reveal in the live training. And I answer any questions that you have. But yeah, account coordinator is solid. I'm gonna give it a 7.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Next is a utility auditor. And this is somebody who manages clients utility bills and ensures accurate and timely invoicing. And basically you're resolving discrepancy in utility bills, auditing invoices, and ensuring timely and accurate billing for clients. And utility auditors make about 49 to $70,000 a year. And this is a very important position as highlighted by this post on Reddit, where people talk about the entire team basically descended into chaos when someone who held this position quit. And this one actually does have a ton of positions that you could potentially move into down the line. For instance, senior auditors make 99 to $144,000 a year, and the senior vice president of auditing makes 243 to $430,000 a year. So yeah, probably not the most glamorous job, relatively boring. You're just looking over financial records and you know utility records and making sure that everything is fine. But with that being said, it does pay pretty well. And there are other positions that pay well too. I'll give this one a 7.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Quick break. So I know you guys wanna know where I'm headed and like all the different places I go to because I work remote. And you also wanna know how you can work remote as well. And that's something that I share a lot of on Instagram. So definitely follow me. I'll put it down in the description and the pinned comment below. I also answer people's questions via DM if you reach out to me on Instagram. So it's a really good place to get a hold of me. So definitely send me a message on Instagram if you wanna work remote and you want help doing that. Uh, link is in the description and the pinned comment below. Now back to your regularly scheduled programming. Next is going to be a help desk coordinator. And this is somebody who manages communication channels, dispatches technicians, and helps in administrative IT tasks. And help desk coordinators make about forty-nine dollars to $73,000 a year. So it's pretty good money, especially for an entry level job. Now some training that would really help you land this job would be the Google IT help desk professional certificate. Also course careers has a really good IT help desk course as well. And senior help desk technicians make about sixty-two dollars to $99,000 a year. So there's definitely a career progression here. And there's other career paths you can move into in IT or cybersecurity or even you know other types of technology like software development that pay much better. So this is a really good way of getting your foot in the door in the technology industry, which is one of the best industries to be in. So yeah, absolutely love this one. I'm going to give it a 9.5 out of 10 opportunity score. By the way, guys, comment down below any of these that you like, ones that you don't like, or ones that you wish I would have put into the video, but I didn't. And there's a very good chance I'll see it and put it in a future video, or I might even make a dedicated video on it if I see enough people commenting about about them. So next is going to be a credit processor. And this is where you review and process financial applications to determine credit worthiness, aka are you going to loan this person something and put them into debt. Now a lot of people end up getting debt that they really shouldn't have, debt that they're never going to be able to pay off. So this does give a ton of value both to the consumer as well as the company. And you can kind of think of yourself as a financial gatekeeper, ensuring that only the right candidates pass through. And in this position you make about forty-four to sixty-five thousand dollars a year and it's entry level and doesn't require a college degree. So this is really good. And there's a lot of other career paths that are similar that you can go into. For instance, credit managers make about 92 to $159,000 a year and credit analysts make about 61 to $100,000 a year. So yeah, maybe not something that everyone wants to do, you know, working in the debt and credit industry maybe isn't the most glamorous thing to do, but there's a lot of opportunities. It's very easy to get into. It's a good way to get your foot in the door, get some experience, and then you can get a better job down the line and you can get remote jobs as well. So I really like this one. I'm going to give it a 7.5 out of 10 opportunity score. Next is going to be an enrollment coordinator. And this is somebody who basically converts patient referrals into patient enrollments. So patients come up to the hospital or a clinic or they are referred to a hospital or a clinic and they call in or they email and you convert those people from interested to okay, we're actually going to come in and we're going to be one of your patients. So you're kind of a matchmaker pairing patients with the perfect telehealth solutions to help with their health. And enrollment coordinators make about 51 to $72,000 a year. And there's lots of other careers that are similar that you can go into. For instance, enrollment counselors make fifty-seven dollars to $85,000 a year. Remote enrollment coordinators make fifty-one dollars to $72,000 a year. And telehealth program managers make sixty-eight dollars to $114,000 a year. So it's another one of those many healthcare-related careers that are relatively easy to get into, doesn't require a college degree, doesn't require previous experience, and they pay decently well and they're really stable. Now, this one does typically require some training, but the companies will usually provide that training for you. So yeah, this is a good one. I'm going to go ahead and give it a 7.5 out of 10 opportunity 
score. Next is going to be an accounts receivable analyst. And this is somebody who solves invoice and payment issues for customers in order to maintain smooth financial operations. And accounts receivable analysts make $49,000 to $69,000 a year. So that's pretty good, especially considering it doesn't require a college degree or previous experience. And there's other career paths that are relatively similar. So lead accounts receivable, they make about fifty to $71,000 a year. And accounts receivable specialist managers make fifty to $73,000 a year. And then senior accounts receivable specialists make fifty four to seventy seven thousand dollars a year so there is a bit of a career path there and you can make more money down the line so yeah this one's pretty good i'll go ahead and give it an eight out of ten opportunity score next on the list is going to be a karen whisperer aka a consumer resolution specialist that's right you're going to be the one who settles confrontations that happen between customers and usually customer service representatives or other people that work at your company and not only are you going to be handling customer complaints but you're also going to be making sure that your company is legally compliant and in this position you'd make about 38 to 53 thousand dollars a year so it doesn't pay the best but it's relatively easy to get into and there's even better jobs down the line like customer resolutions manager they make about 56 to 91 thousand dollars a year so yeah if you're a karen whisperer i actually had a good friend uh, who was a karen whisperer he would just you know for whatever reason he has a talent for making angry people less angry and just basically talking them down so if you're one of those people this could be a great position for you i'll go ahead and give it a 6.5 out of 10 opportunity score because most people out there are probably not one of those people and by the way guys i did make a video on the 21 highest paying work from home jobs that are always hiring and you can check that out by clicking right here